Hey there, and welcome back to the Homemade Haven. I wanted to give you guys a quick overview of how our compost system works here on our homestead and how we use our animals to help us work the compost and to form our compost. Today is animal coop clean out day, so I'm getting ready to get my supplies to go and clean out the chicken coop today and also the goat shed. Just get everybody cleaned up for the week and refill the water containers, refill the food containers, make sure everybody's got plenty of bedding to keep them warm. So, hope you enjoy. Beep, beep. <laughs> This is the first step of our composting process here. As you saw, we emptied out the contents of our chicken coop and we raked them all over into a pile. From there to there. And this pile will include our food scraps and other compostable items. Um, that need a little while to break down. So we'll put them all in this pile and the chickens will come over here and till it up. They'll dig through it and pick through it. And as they do, they're aerating it and um, breaking it down a little bit quicker for us.
so now that we have all the animals cleaned out we can properly show you our composting system so you saw the chicken pile we empty the chicken coop and start phase one of our compost over there which is hot compost you cannot put it on any living thing and expect it to keep living it's too full of nitrogen um, so we let that sit over there until it gets too big a pile or until our phase two pile is emptied and we have space to move it over here our phase two pile is right off of our goat pen area this is where the phase one pile comes and sits for about six months or so before we add it to our soil which works out because it's typically um, at the end or beginning of the next gardening cycle so then we're we have some some fresh and usable compost so whenever we do a deep clean of the goat's pen we put it all in here on our phase two pile goat manure as you saw we just cleaned out is a cold compost and you can put it directly on your garden right away and we just did that um, about a week or so ago so we didn't need to do it again this week so this week it's all just going into phase two pile to sit here and continue breaking down until the next time we need to amend our beds so this is what our garden boxes look like after we have top dressed them with some of our phase two compost there is some hay that will continue to break down and turn into soil and as of right now it's just acting as a ground cover and keeping the soil that's underneath it good and healthy we scoot it to the side you can see just how rich and dark the soil is so this is ready for us to put our transplants and our spring seeds in here in a couple of weeks. I hope this video has given you some ideas on how to use the so-called waste from your farm animals. Everything has a purpose and a place here and we try to put it to good use and steward what we have and do our best not to create waste that goes to a landfill and doesn't have a purpose. So everything gets used here in the way that God designed for it to be. So we're growing healthy animals that produce healthy fertilizer that also in turn produces healthy food for us and our family. After all that work, I am exhausted and ready to go inside and get a shower and either a cup of coffee or a nap, or maybe both. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. We release about two videos a week on homesteading, homeschooling, and homemaking, and our family's adventure in all three. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you the next time.